you're on location filming some epic footage. You have some sick moves and some sick camera settings. Load that footage. Here we go. It's so grainy. It's overexposed. It's orange. It's blue. Who are you kidding? You're not a filmmaker. You don't even know how to use your camera. No. You pick up that camera out of the garbage and click on this course. This class looks insane. Camera settings for filmmaking. Create a short story sequence. Because this course is for you, the beginner who is determined to learn the basics, but also learn the more advanced stuff too, because your ambitions go beyond auto mode. Heck, maybe you want to do this for a living. Maybe you can get paid to do this. Maybe you can get paid to do this. Awesome. Snap out of it. Click on the first lesson. You learn from Sean, who has over 10 years of experience working as a video creator. Wow. This guy's good looking. He teaches you what all these strange words mean and why they're important to filmmaking. Nice. And more importantly, storytelling. You pick up your own camera and learn all about how to use these manual settings. You even test out some of these theories on your phone and your friend's camera too. You better return that to him. You've had it for months. <laughs> you keep watching and gain technical insights on camera settings, filming techniques, and how to use them to creatively tell your story. Wow. Wow. You absorb the learned techniques like a sponge, finishing the course, becoming more confident in using your camera, creating footage that looks more cinematic, professional, and polished. You start to realize this technical stuff is kind of important. It gives me the freedom to be creative and tell awesome stories. You go back out and film that sequence that you messed up the first time. Post your project to the project gallery and get amazing feedback. Now you're ready to take on more projects with all your new knowledge and experience. Yes, you, my friend, are awesome.